beautiful Saturday morning. That means it's back day. I actually posted on Instagram. For some reason, I thought it was shoulder day. It's not. Yesterday was an off day. Chest day was, what was that, Friday? It's Thursday. So here we go. Hard and heavy. I'm ready to fucking rock. My body's feeling good. And uh, so I got the, um, <clears throat> sorry. I actually have Pump and Grind in here. It's back in stock next week. That's Pump Chasers. Pump and Grind in here. And um, got Intra Advantage in here. And had my pre-workout Big O Bar. So yesterday I hit fucking crazy. I hit 5,000 calories. Rest day. Sweat throughout the night. Had to change pajamas and shit. Had to change shorts. And I'm sure I lost weight. Like my body is a fucking furnace right now. So I'm going to keep feeding it today. I asked Jose what he wants me to do, but I'm thinking we got to dirty it up a little bit, man. We got to, we got to get funky. We got to, we got to start throwing in some high days, even though my calories are really high. I'm talking like cake and pie and as much calories we could shove in because we need to, we need to get over this hump. We need to gain some size. I'm going to be a heavyweight. So I'm guessing I'll be between 215 and 220 for my weigh in tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. But I need to eat more. 5,000 calories isn't enough. Cause I got some fucking goals to make, but number one goal is getting to that gym and building a big ass fucking back. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to eat this meal on the way, big O bar, drink this pre-workout, go to carbon culture. And I'm going to fuck some shit up. I'm filming it for you. Too. Back day, baby. So we started out three to four feeder sets on the pull down. Then we do a triple drop set, pick a weight. You could do six to eight reps of perfect form. Pull it, squeeze it. All the gains, all the gain juice is coming out. And then right when you reach failure, you get a little a couple pulse sets, right? A couple where you get a little body English in there and then you drop the weight. I'd say about 30%, grip it and rip it, pull it. So for this rep range for the first one, six to 10 reps for the first set. After that, drop it about 30%, just guesstimate it and go until you can't go no more. For me, that was like four to five reps. It was tough. One more drop, pull it down engaging every fiber in your lats. By the way, look at that beautiful hat. Tiger game day hats are available at tigerfitness.com. Now it's the game day hats. We have 13 of them. Haven't done rows in a good four weeks. Went up to 315 and I had no partner, so I can't really drop it. So what I did is I got 50 pound dumbbells. So I got it, got all my reps. Boom, step back, grab the dumbbells. Did about five perfect reps, making sure my back is fatigued. Every muscle, fiber, stressed. Moved on. Single arm pull downs. You can do this on a pull down machine. You can do this on whatever you want. You can't really do a single arm pull up unless you're really awesome. So basically six to eight reps per arm, four sets. And the thing is, you can do it either way. You can do them as separate exercises or together. I supersetted this with T-bar rows. Why I love training at Carbon Culture, it's so easy to superset and get done your workouts how you want to do them. But basically what I did, I did those. Then I rocked out these awesome, phenomenal T-bar rows. Come in. This is a very heavy machine. Five to eight reps. You're ready fatigued from pulling that big ass weight on the pull down, squeeze it, isolate it. Every contraction being felt, every rep counts. Move on any kind of machine row, a DY row for me right here, four sets, 10 reps. Pull it, squeeze it, yes. From there we went on to a standing hyperextension row, full extension coming up, contracting every bit of the back, after this, I did abs and calves. You may do those if you like. Plenty of abdominal activities. Simply search my YouTube channel. I have plenty of ab programs. I like to do abs every single day. I like to do calves every single day. Something I'm working on building up. But here it is, guys. Enjoy the workout and be sure to download the Tiger Fitness app if you don't already have it. All right, guys. So I'm going to uh, make outright pancakes. All right. Make enough for a little, little leftover. Okay, so what we're going to do... 10 scoops of outright pancake mix. Now you can use water, I use almond milk, that's fine. Seven. So workout was great, I ended up doing back. I thought I was doing shoulders, but I actually ended up um, 
I, I got my split messed up because yesterday was an off day, which would have been back. And I don't take off days, so that's what that does. Then you put in, if you guys haven't tried this, it's freaking amazing. All right, then you put in a cup and a quarter. I put a little extra in. You just end up putting in a little under a cup and a half. Gonna whisk it up, then cook it up. I'll show you what it comes out in. Look at those pancakes, bro. Wow, look at those pancakes. Look, you saw what I put in them, man. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, man, that's amazing. Look at these beautiful outright pancakes. You can't beat that, man. If you haven't tried them, I'm telling you, you're missing out. I just felt like egg whites today. I'll make up the calories. So here's three ounces of bison, um, about 20 grams of protein from egg whites. And I'm probably gonna have two or three of these pancakes. Not sure yet, we'll find out in my daily macros. Oh, and this is covered in the Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce, phenomenal. So there's breakfast, yes! I literally have a hat to match every outfit. Do this rider wear shirt, it's awesome hat. You get them now, they're 20 bucks each. Anyway, here's how I pack food. So I got this MTS cooler in here. I have a long day. I have four meals underneath the ice packs. Um, Katie has a sludge right there. So I also have barbecue sauce. So I made it simple. They're all bison and sweet potato meals. So six ounce bison, six ounce sweet potato, and I'll augment it with our bar. So I have a pimple in my nose and it's caused me to have like a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer thing. If this ain't a Jewish joke, I don't know what is. Rex, excuse me, everybody. I just wanted to say hi and ask, uh, ask the big dumb guy for ruckus. Seriously. I would like to ask that asshole right there for some, uh, one of these. One of these route right bars, uh, the blueberries, that's my favorite. Give me the fucking bar. Ruckus, language, bro, there's kids around. Okay, ruck you. Ruckus! Come on, bro. Okay, so you want this lovely goodness? Say, uh, say cheese. Ruck, ruckus. Say, I would like this outright bar, please. I would like you to rock the rock up. Ruck! Fucking dog, dude. Dogs can have blueberries, right? They can't have raisins. Well, blueberries aren't raisins. Grapes. <laughs> I know. We'll find out. Ruckus is not a dog. If he was a dog, could he talk like that? Ruckus, are you a dog? Ruh, I believe I belong in the canine species, but uh, but I identify as a sheep herding goat. Sheep herding goat? Right? Yo, I'm going to snack up and then I'm going to eat a meal when we get there, but... On the way, the outright peanut butter jelly prototype. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this on the way. So we're doing our thing, getting out. I've already had a big O bar breakfast. Now the outright bar on the way. And Preston, you ready to play? Man, two hours for a friggin' eight year old soccer game? That's a long drive. Yeah, next week I get you three. Yeah, because there's not many teams his age at his level, so we have to travel all over the place. So. Nonetheless, I ate two outright bars on the way here, but now I'm stuffed. I don't see myself eating for like two hours. <laughs> I'm full, Katie. I'm stuffed. But uh, it's a beautiful day. It's shorts and hoodie weather. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that's a beautiful day. So enjoy this game and see what happens. He's eight, so no stress. Some parents stress, but they're stupid. And we just kind of laugh at them stressing. So it should be a fun game busy watching the soccer game but always stay ready sweet potato bison six ounce each i got four of these so i'm trying to pack them in at like 2400 calories so far today um tough loss they're eight they got their asses kicked but they're eight they'll forget about it by dinner love it this is that age that soccer is still fun it's not as competitive but uh preston's having a blast we're having a blast and i almost got in the fight with the head coach of the other team it was coach for some reason they don't have refs and we drove two hours it's ridiculous so anyway so the ref called a stupid foul i wasn't against the foul but there was a safety issue so i yelled out hey you gotta stop the play he said do you want a ref i said yeah i'll ref you got a problem and then he tried to be a tough guy so i'm like do you want to go i'm like are you really going to try this so i literally kind of make an ass of myself too much anadrol simplicity wins the day we're still at the field sweet potato bison a little bit of that raised barbecue sauce Always stay ready. If you come unprepared, you're never gonna Since win. Since we got in the car, I had sweet potato bison, 
my second outright bar in the car. I think I'm up to four outright bars and a big O bar today. No more than that. You ate two on the way here and two on the way back and... And a big, a big O bar. O That's okay. four and one. Okay. He's going for a whole box today. Yeah, I think so. I, I'm, I'm, I I'm. got to get to over five. I, I hit 5,000 calories and I, 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 I'm not going to say my weight is because they get, guess my weight tomorrow. But let's just say that this is the best way to put on size. Like instead of eating... I love the cookies and the brownies, but there's much more nutritional value to these. They're much cleaner, much better. So if I can get it from Outright Bars, I'm in. So get home, take Cammy to the gym, get some sauna action, and we're training tomorrow at the gym, right, Katie, in the morning? Yeah. Awesome. So almost home. Preston hour. crushed it today, by the way. We got an hour left. Hour left, and I'm literally going home, taking a spooky dookie, and then we'll uh, be off to Lifetime. Back from soccer. Cammy needs to work out, so we're going to Lifetime. Um, I'm just gonna go sauna, recover. One more outright bar, that's five outright bars and a big O bar today. I'm gonna hit over 5,000 calories, it's gonna be glorious. Let's go, wrap them out. Light day, recovery day, let's go. Wrap them out, good. Lightweight, good. Good form, good. Yep, come on. Push, good. Nice. Up. Oh, that's it. State champ. Let's go. Let's go. Another state ring. Another state ring. Yep. There you go. Rep it out. Rep it out. Good. We managed to get over 5,200 calories today. So first MTS brownie, two scoops MTS whey, right? Then we got these power treats from Flex Pro Meals, flexpromeals.com, coupon code LOWBLINER. Absolutely delicious. Along with a cookie dough outright bar, microwaved for 20 seconds. Cookie dough microwaved, oh my goodness, so damn good. Anyway, this is my final meal, 5,200 calories. Hopefully Monday, we see the weight gain we wanna see. If not, we raise it even more. Guys, it's on. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to the gym, my lovely bride, Katie, where I'm training shoulders, she's training something else. And tonight I did sauna, felt great. So I did sauna, guys, you can go ahead and talk. I'm gonna walk away. So I go, I'm, I'm just, they, they have a conversation going on. So I went ahead and I did, um, I did sauna and I shaved, took a shower, feel really good because Cammie had to get her workout in and she was benching and doing her upper body. And tomorrow, since cammie has been training so hard, we're actually gonna go do an IV drip at Restore, the place I go to. I don't get paid by them, I don't get commission. Vinny's a friend of mine, I love the guy. He always gets us in, so at noon, after I train, I'm gonna go get an IV drip with Cammie. And um, it's her first time, but her training's been so intense. We wanna make sure her immunity is on point, that her recovery is on point, that she's well hydrated. She's got a big week of games. They beat their crosstown rival, Brentwood, pretty handily. Cammie played, in my opinion, her best game ever. We just wanna make sure that she's on point. But anyway, guys, beautiful night. I'm gonna go spend some time with my family. And I love all you guys, and um, rock and roll. At this company, we all wear a lot of hats. So we made the Tiger Game Day hats to show you how many hats you can wear. One for every day, in fact, almost one for every day of two weeks. Look at this one, boom. Then you wear this hat, boom. What about this one? Boom. What about this one? There. How about this one? Yep. How about this one? Oh yeah. Or this one. Oh yeah. Or this one. Oh yeah, and you get the point, boom, boom, green. The thing is, these are U-form hats, so we can, these can either be, be flat bill, or these can be curved. Available now at tigerfitness.com, you're gonna love them.